Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I have an Audi R18 TDI, the number two, from the Audi Sport team, Jost, winner of Le Mans in 2011. Guys, this was, I believe, the first year that Audi had come out with a closed cockpit designed prototype. And this went on to win yet once again. That was the story of Team Audi. It seems like they could never lose until they got out of the sport, which they eventually did in 2016. Well, guys, this is one of Spark's older releases. As, plenty, as, <laughs> as part of the 24 Hours of Le Mans collection, it comes in this box that basically on the front of it says 24 Ours Demon by Spark. And as you'll notice here, as typical of a lot of these older packages, it has this reflective silver backing inside. On the side, I particularly like this one. It has the 24 Ordema with the winner of 2011 and Spark. So I've never seen that on a box before. The back of it shows a picture of the track. And on the following side, it shows, you know, this is the Audi R Team TDI number two, Audi Sport Team Joe's winner of Le Mans in 2011. And of course, on the bottom of the packaging, it shows all the various legalese and everything else you get with these. And of course, comes with a trusted jewel cover to store it in. Now before we talk about how cool this car is and take a real close look at it, I uh, note that Audi AG constructed this new Audi R18 LMP of which was the successor to the previous open, open cockpit R15 TDI. As I mentioned this was the first of the closed cockpit uh, prototypes for Audi. A new rule for Le Mans designated the cars had to feature a stabilization fin on the back of it. Now, this is really important, guys, because you take a look at this. This is what is also used today in virtually all the prototypes in the world, including, yes, the Peugeot. So this started back in 2011 and has been used ever since through 2023 in order to basically stabilize the car. Now, the fin fits over the engine cover, and a new six-speed gearbox was included with this car. The 3.7-liter V6 produces 390 kilowatts, or 532 brake horsepower, of which was less power than the outgoing R15, yet this car was plenty fast. The new engine features a single Garrett TR30R VGT turbocharger, and interesting enough, the exhaust was inward between the cylinder banks where the turbocharger is placed, and they called it a hot valley. Interesting. This was also the first Audi to feature hybrid power, something prototypes today are doing. Again, this was started back in 2011. Now, if you take a look at the drivers of this car, it was Marcel Fassler, Andre Lauder, and Benoit, and Benoit Trulier, I believe if I pronounced that correctly. Let me know. Guys, To I guess to, to sum this up, it's a beautiful Spark model. Everything you would come to expect from Spark. The finish is outstanding. The decal work is gorgeous. It is loaded with details and details and details. Lots of aerials, including a pitot tube on the front of the car. Uh, the wheel detail is excellent. All the grill work looks absolutely fantastic. The headlights are nothing but exceptional. The front end looks great. Tow hook right there with the arrow points to it. You can see it. Oops, you can see it right there. And windshield wiper looks good. All the various arrows look sharp. Guys, the windows are tinted, and I'll be honest with you, I can't see dick inside of this thing. So I gotta take away points for not being able to see the interior of the car. And that really sucks because this is the first Spark prototype car that I bought, and I the intention to detail, I love interior details, and there's nothing to be seen here. They do do a nice job with the hatches on here throughout the car. I think that's a very, very cool touch. The finish is exceptional. I like the silver with these chrome stripes that you have on it in combination with the black. I think it is really, really badass. Here's a cool look at the back of the car. You can clearly see where the Audi Ultra is. You have the tow hook right here. You've got the air jack input inlet rot right there. Folks, one thing I am completely baffled if, and if somebody knows these cars better than I do, and I guarantee you somewhere out there does, where does the exhaust for this car come out? I cannot find it anywhere in here. This is kind of what it looks like from a top view. 
Again, very, very impressive. This is like all Spark models. Comes on this really nice wood base. It's one thing I really like about Spark. It's not plastic. No, it is painted wood. It has all sorts of information about the car on the front, the drivers on the back. I like every bit of that. Guys, this is a phenomenally cool model. My next video will be a comparison between both this and the IXO model of the 2012 Audi Art team that I just reviewed yesterday. So I've got a chance to show you both of these. I'll review them both together. I think you'll find them. The results are very interesting. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.